In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 31, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Seattle Mariners vs. Boston Red Sox The Seattle Mariners are set to face off against the Boston Red Sox, with both teams eager to continue their impressive seasons. The Mariners boast a 57-52 record and are locked in a competitive battle for the top spot in the American League West Division. Meanwhile, the Red Sox hold a 56-50 record and are positioned in third place in the American League East Division. However, Boston has struggled recently, winning only three of their last ten games. Examining the last seven starts of the pitchers reveals a stark contrast in their performances. George Kirby has posted a 2-2 record with a stellar 2.03 earned run average and a 0.92 WHIP over 44.1 innings. In comparison, Brian Bello holds a 4-1 record but with a less impressive 5.73 earned run average and a 1.51 WHIP over 37.2 innings during the same period. This disparity is also reflected in the overall team pitching stats for July. Seattle leads Major League Baseball with a remarkable 3.07 team earned run average, while Boston is tied for 23rd place with the St. Louis Cardinals, posting a 5.05 team earned run average. The Red Sox aim to perform well at home but the Mariners are focused on climbing to first place in their division and dominating the game from the outset. The Mariners are expected to consistently get on base against Brian Bello, who has conceded nine runs in his last three starts. Key players like Cal Raleigh and Dylan Moore, along with the rest of the lineup, are anticipated to make strong contact and produce effective plate appearances, easily driving in runs. On the defensive side, George Kirby is projected to pitch multiple scoreless innings, effectively limiting the Red Sox batting order. Consequently, the Seattle Mariners' money line is our full game side pick. Since the All-Star break, both teams have shown an ability to score, each having played 11 games. The Mariners are averaging 4.55 runs per game, while the Red Sox are scoring at an impressive rate of 6.64 runs per game during this period. Neither team's bullpen has excelled this season, with Seattle ranked 12th with a 3.81 reliever earned run average and Boston 17th with a 4.14 bullpen earned run average. Given these stats, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Chicago Cubs vs. Cincinnati Reds The Cincinnati Reds will conclude their home series against the Chicago Cubs on Wednesday. The Reds have been on a hot streak, winning five out of their last six games, including the first two of this series. Chicago enters this game with an average of 4.07 runs per game, ranking them 25th in the league. The Cubs have struggled offensively this season and are among the bottom five teams in overall batting average. However, they have performed better on the road, with more than half of their home runs and extra base hits occurring away from home. Additionally, Chicago has shown improvement under nighttime conditions. After a lackluster June, their offense has picked up in July, positioning them to finish the month with their highest monthly batting average. Nonetheless, their inability to maintain composure at the plate has been a recurring issue, as they rank 21st in strikeout rate. This high strikeout rate, combined with a bottom 10 ranking in extra base hits, has often led to the Cubs leaving runners stranded. Cincinnati concludes this series with an average of 4.42 runs per game, placing them just inside the top half of the league. Despite this, the Reds have struggled with consistency at the plate and currently rank 28th in collective batting average. They have performed slightly better at home, with over half of their home runs occurring in front of their home crowd. Moreover, Cincinnati has posted their strongest batting splits when hitting under the light. The Reds' offense was on fire in June but has cooled off in July, now hitting below their season average. On the positive side, they have recorded 38 home runs in 22 games. This heavy home run volume in July has propelled them into the top half of the league in home run rate. 
However, their high strikeout rate remains one of the highest in baseball, limiting the effectiveness of their offense at times this season. The Cubs' offense has been too inconsistent this season to confidently support them on the road. Reds pitcher Nick Lodolo has performed well against the Cubs in the past, and his high strikeout rate will likely pose a challenge for the Chicago offense, which is among the highest in strikeouts in baseball. Cubs pitcher Kyle Hendricks has struggled with allowing home runs recently, giving up at least one in his last three starts against Cincinnati. The Reds and this matchup just three games below .500 and are fourth in the National League Central, trailing the Pirates and Cardinals by only three games. Cincinnati has played well over the last week and is starting Nick Lodolo, who, despite some recent struggles, has been solid this season. Chicago is starting Kyle Hendricks, who has an earned run average just under seven and is difficult to trust. Hendricks has been decent at home but has struggled on the road in two of his last three road starts. Therefore, the Cincinnati Reds' money line is our full-game side pick. As mentioned, Lodolo has historically performed well against the Cubs, and we can expect this trend to continue as he maintains his strongest earned run average and OB at home this season. Both of these offenses rank in the bottom 10 in terms of strikeout rates, and despite the uptick in home runs, Cincinnati still sits 28th in overall batting average. Meanwhile, Chicago is in the bottom 10 for both home runs and extra base hits. Given this, the projected total for the game is too high. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. San Diego Padres The Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres will conclude their brief two-game series in San Diego on Wednesday night. The Dodgers are currently leading the National League West Division, positioning themselves for yet another division title. On the other hand, the Padres have been one of the hottest teams in baseball over the past few weeks, surging into serious contention for a playoff spot. The Padres are slightly favored, largely due to their home field advantage and the exceptional performance of Dylan Cease this season, particularly in terms of strikeouts. Cease has had a stellar July and has consistently excelled at home. Meanwhile, Clayton Kershaw is only making his second start of the season and is still finding his form. Despite this, Kershaw is being offered at attractive odds, and the Dodgers remain one of the best teams in baseball. Such opportunities are rare, making the Los Angeles Dodgers' money line our full-game side pick. In recent games, the Dodgers have exceeded the run total in three of their last five matchups. However, Cease is pitching at an elite level and hasn't allowed a run in his last three starts. Additionally, the Padres have gone under the run total in four of Cease's last five starts, including a 3-0 victory over the Nationals during his no-hitter. Although Kershaw wasn't dominant in his first start off the injured list, he still managed to hold the Giants to two runs over four innings, striking out six. Wednesday's game is expected to be a classic pitcher's duel between the Dodgers' Clayton Kershaw and the Padres' Dylan Cease, promising an intense and playoff-like atmosphere. The Dodgers have struggled offensively against the Padres this season, batting just .208. Considering the pitching talent on display and the ballpark conditions, a low-scoring game seems probable. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.